Hi everyone, my name is Ruth Marshall and I am the cellist for the Mill City String Quartet and we are Class Notes Artists in Residence with Classical Minnesota Public Radio this year. Um, I wish that I could meet you all in person, but here we are, so I'm happy to introduce myself via the internet. Um, I am a professional cellist, which means that playing the cello is my full-time job. I started playing the cello when I was a really little kid. I was actually a little bit younger than four years old. So I started out on a really small cello, a 1 16th size cello. Um, and I started taking private lessons at that age. Now in my family, we have some professional musicians, so it was kind of uh, normal to play music at a really young age. And my older sister played the violin and she started around the same age. And then my younger brother also played the violin. Um, so I realize that's kind of unusual. However, I know lots of professional musicians who didn't even start playing the cello until they were like 14. So it doesn't matter what age you start. Um, anybody who wants to do um, the hard work to become a professional can absolutely do it if that's what they want to do. So a little bit about my life as a professional. The things that I do for my job include performing concerts, working with students, and doing quite a bit of um, like administrative work to make sure that those things happen. So most people who have jobs go to the same place every day and do their job. Maybe they work at a restaurant or they work in an office or they work at a hospital. Um, but for me, I go different places every day. I play concerts in different places, um, sometimes here in the Twin Cities area, but other times in other parts of the country. So I might have to get in a car and drive somewhere, or I might need to get on a plane and fly somewhere. Um, and then with working with students, I go into schools, like I was planning to come to your school in Buffalo, um, or I go to locations where I teach privately, or I even have students come to my house. Uh, and in addition to that, I spend a lot of time practicing, I practice every day, and rehearsing, which is, you know, what you guys do at school when you get together as a class, you rehearse your music together as a class. I do the same thing with my quartet, the Mill City String Quartet, and with other groups that I'm involved with, including orchestras, um, I'm in a duo with a piano player, and other groups of various sizes. And then lastly, the administrative part. This is very important. Anybody who thinks they might want to be a professional musician, it's really important to read your email and return your emails, listen to your phone messages and return your messages because that's how professional musicians get work. Um, so I spend a fair amount of time every day doing correspondence with people who want to hire me and making sure everything is orderly on my calendar and that I have all the materials to be prepared. For example, like I have to track down the music I'm supposed to learn and um, going to play at these concerts. I have to make sure I have the right outfit. I'm sure you all know about that, making sure you have your concert outfit for your um, school concerts. And then um, things like making sure I have the directions and I know where to go and what time I'm supposed to be there. Do I need to bring a stand? Um, you know, all of those logistics, that is a really important part of being a professional musician, is being sure about the logistics. So that's my life as a professional musician. In addition to that, I'm a mom, I have a little baby who's eight months old, and I have a husband, and I live in Minneapolis, and, you know, I have hobbies, like I like to knit, and I like to read, I like to go for walks, I like to swim. Um, these days, my main hobby is just being at home, probably like the rest of you guys. <laughs> so before I play something for you, I wanted to tell you one little exciting tidbit about myself, which is that I went to DePaul University in Chicago, and my roommate was Miss Iker. Can you believe it? Miss Iker and I have been friends since 2008. She's one of my best friends. You are all so lucky to have her as a teacher because she knows everything. She really does. So I'm going to play a piece of music for you called The Swan by Camille Saison. Mm -hmm. 